let me share with you a tricky question which tests your pattern recognitions and logical reasoning skills. You're presented with rectangle, which inside of it contains six different shapes, and one of the shapes is missing. You need to determine which shapes completes the figure, and you're presented with four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. All of these choices look very similar. Now is the good time to pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer on your own. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see how we can get to the correct solution together. As usual, my recommendation to you is always look for patterns. And there are two different patterns presented here in this particular question. Let's look at the pattern one. Pattern one defines that the shapes go in the horizontal rows. For example, this is the shape one, this is the shape two, and this is the shape three. I group them as shape 1.1, meaning that the first one represents the first row, shape 1. The next shape is first row, shape 2. And the third shape is the first row, shape 3. Similar pattern will exist for the bottom row. Now let's look at the pattern 2. And pattern 2 represents 90 degree clockwise outside shape rotation around the circle in the middle. As you can see, there is always a circle in the middle and the outside shapes rotate around this circle. So let's follow the triangle. Let's look at the first shape. Here, triangle points to the top. In the next shape, triangle rotates 90 degree clockwise and points to the right. In the following shape, triangle rotates another 90 degrees and follows to the bottom. Very similar pattern will exist here in the bottom row. Therefore, the missing part of the figure contains the shapes that rotate 90 degrees to the right. So the correct answer here is choice C. Let's recap. There are two patterns here in this question. The first pattern is the fact that each row represents a horizontal set of shapes, which rotates as sequential number of shapes increases. And the second pattern indicates that the shapes rotate clockwise around the circle in the middle. Therefore, the correct answer here is choice C. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar questions on the test. Let me share with you a tricky question from the test which validates your knowledge of pattern recognitions and logical reasoning. Which of the following comes next in the sequence? And you're presented with four squares. The fourth square has a question mark, which means that you need to figure it out. And you have four different choices. Choice A, B, C, and D. An answer is not obvious, but I'm pretty sure you will figure it out. Please give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can see the answer, or maybe you can come up to the answer. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see how we can get to the correct solution together. And here's the answer. The fourth box in the sequence is now populated. But let's go through the logic and rationale so you would know how to answer similar questions in the test. Number one tip, and always a tip, is always look for patterns. So what you see is that the figure inside rotates clockwise. If you look at the corner of the shape, you will see that the corner was on the particular side of the square. It was on the left side. Now the same corner touches the top line of the square. And then in the third box, it touches the right line of the square, which means that you can logically assume that in the following, in the fourth box, it will be touching the bottom line. There is also a pattern of arrows. You see that the box number two has the arrow pointing to the right and boxes one and three do not have this arrow. So the arrow only present in the second box. In the original question, arrow is only present in the second box. We can logically assume that it only placed in the boxes that are even. Number four box is missing, so you can logically assume that the arrow should be present in the box number four. Among the choices presented, only choice C and D are valid because only they contain the arrow. And you need to determine the final box based on the position of the shape inside the square. So the correct answer here is choice C. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar questions in the test. Here's an interesting question which tests your knowledge of pattern recognition, logical reasoning, as well as analytical skills. 
which of the following comes next in the sequence. You're presented with the sequence of five shapes, five squares, which have triangles inside. One square is missing triangles, and you would need to make a selection which square is missing out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. An answer here, believe me, is not obvious. Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can recognize the pattern and come up with the answer. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see how we can solve this challenge and get to the correct solution together. Typically, there are patterns on the test questions. What you need to do to find out the right answer is to recognize the patterns. There are multiple patterns in this question. Pattern number one is that the first two shapes have triangles pointing outward in the different directions. And you also see this is the mirror line. And then from the mirror line, you see that the colors go in a different pattern, green and blue to the left. So the same thing should happen from the mirror line to the right, green and blue. Therefore, this is why the missing shape will contain green triangles that point in both directions. So the correct choice here is choice B. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar questions in the test. And now, here's the question for you to try. If you figured out the answer, please post it in the comments of this video so I can give you my feedback. Bill's phone provider charges him $18 for the first 500 texts each month, plus five cents for every text sent after that. If Bill sent 689 text messages last month, how much would his provider charge him? And you're presented with four different choices. Choice A, $25.50. Choice B, $26.25. Choice C, $27.45. And choice D, $28.95. You can pause this video and try to solve this challenge now. And if you have figured out the answer, feel free to post the answer in the comment section of this video along with your rationale so I can give you my feedback. I'm also planning to post a detailed answer in my future videos, so make sure to subscribe and review my latest videos on the topic to learn about the answer and how to come up with the answers to similar questions on the test. Thanks for participating and good luck! Here is the tricky question to test your pattern recognition skills. Which of the following comes next in the sequence? And you present it with the sequence of five squares. Each square has smaller shapes inside. The fourth square is unknown, and you need to detect it from the four possible choices. Choice A, B, C, and D. Do you see the answer? It's not obvious. Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can recognize the answer. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see how we can solve this challenge and get to the correct solution together. As usual, always look for patterns. A lot of times there are multiple patterns present in the question, but in this particular case, there is only one pattern. And the pattern is, is that the shapes rotate clockwise with the increment on every move. For example, if we look at the shapes going from box number one to box number two, and we follow the yellow shape, we see that it moved from the position at 8 o'clock to the position at 2 o'clock. And this happens because the move went from box 1 to box 2. So the next increment, if we follow the same yellow box, would be with the increment of 3. If we do the math, 1, 2, and 3, and that would determine the next position of the yellow box. And this is yellow box in the square number 3. If we follow this pattern logically, you will see that the next move in the shape number 4 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, basically coming back to the same position. Tricky question, but answer is easy as long as you know the pattern. Hopefully you figured out the answer and now know what to look for in similar questions in the test. Let me share with you tricky question which tests your analytical and pattern recognition skills. Here is the question. Which of the following completes the sequence? You're presented with the sequence of four ovals, and the third one is missing. And you have four different choices to choose from. Choice A, B, C, and D. All choices with the similar ovals, just with the different dots located in the different places of the oval. Do you think you see the answer? Take a look carefully, and maybe spend 10 to 15 seconds looking at this particular question, possibly stopping the video. 
Did you figure out the answer? Let's continue to see how we can get to the correct solution together. When solving any type of questions, always look for patterns. And if you look carefully, you will see multiple patterns happening here. The first pattern is there's always a small circle inside the larger oval. And then the second pattern for this particular question is that the math is used to determine the next item. And since math is used, we can use calculations to determine the missing part. You see that the item number two has four small circles and the item number four has 10 small circles. So we can use subtraction to calculate the item in the middle. And if we subtract 10 minus four, we will get to six. So the correct answer here is choice B. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems in the test. But in case you need more practice problems, please check out my ebook in the description section of this video. Let me share with you a tricky question from the real test. Somehow, though, I have a confidence that you will figure out the answer, especially if you will closely look for patterns. Here's the question. Which of the following comes next in the sequence? You're presented with the sequence of four squares, and fifth one is missing. And obviously, there are four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. And all of these choices look very similar. Do you think you know the answer? Now might be a good time to pause this video and give yourself 10 to 20 seconds to see if you can come up with the answer. Did you figure out the pattern? Do you think you know the answer? Let's continue to see how we can solve this challenge together. As usual, my advice to you, always look for patterns. And if you look closely, you see that there are at least three different patterns presented here. There is a pattern for corner sequence. This is the boxes, for example, here in the upper right corner and they move clockwise. You see the pattern continues in the box three and the upper right corner becomes bottom right corner. There is also a diagonal sequence and I show the sequence right here in the boxes two and four. And diagonal sequence also moves clockwise. It moves from the top right corner to the bottom left corner. And in the box four, it goes from the upper left corner into the bottom right corner. So once you know both sequences, you can calculate the missing item number five. And the logic here is that the next box will contain the same pattern as the first and the third rotated clockwise to the next position. Let's recap. There are two sequences in the figure presented. We have corner sequence, we have diagonal sequence and order sequence. Corner sequence goes in boxes one and three and diagonal sequence goes in boxes two and four. Both sequences move in clockwise in the next item. And the sequence's order is one, two, one, two, and then the missing item. This is why the next box will contain the same pattern as the first and the third, rotated clockwise to the next position. So the correct choice here is choice D. Hopefully you've nailed this question. Here is the question from the real test. You can try to solve on your own. I have full confidence that you can solve this challenge from the real test. Determine the next number in this sequence. And you have a series of numbers presented on the screen. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and then the missing number that you need to figure out. You have four choices to pick from. Choice A, 32. Choice B, 34. Choice C, 36. And choice D, 38. Feel free to pause this video and try to solve this challenge now. And if you have figured out the answer, feel free to post the answer in the comment section of this video. Please also include your rationale so I can give you my feedback. I am also planning to post a detailed answer in my future videos, so make sure to subscribe and review my latest videos on the topic to learn about the answer and how to come up with the answers to similar questions in a test. Thanks for participating and good luck! Let me share with you a tricky question which tests your pattern recognition as well as analytical skills. Which of the following squares comes next in the sequence? And you present it with the sequence of five squares and the fifth square is missing. And you have four different choices to choose from. A, B, C, and D. Do you recognize the pattern in this question? Do you think you know the answer? Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to look closely 
and see if you can recognize which shape should be selected out of the four choices presented. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see how we can get to the correct answer and solve this challenge together. As usual, my recommendation to you is always look for patterns. And let me share with you which patterns are present in this question. Obviously, there are multiple patterns present because this is the type of questions you get on the test. The first pattern is where half circles rotates clockwise inside the square. So the first position is on the right, next position is at the bottom, then left, top, and then you see the cycle repeating. The second pattern is where L shape is located at the opposite direction of where it was in the previous square. So you see that the L shape in the first square is located in the bottom left. In the next square, it's located in the upper right corner. And then the third pattern, also related to the L shape, is where L shape only changes its location after being in the same place twice, which is also being followed by the triangle. As you can see, the L shape in the first square is located in the bottom left corner. And then in the next two shapes, it's located in the upper right, and then in the upper right again. Then it changes the position and goes into the bottom right. And then in the next two positions, according to the pattern, would be upper left and then upper left again. And then the last but not least pattern is the pattern of the small triangle. And small triangle here follows the pattern of being inside and outside of the L shape. Therefore, this is why the next item in the sequence should contain a half circle in the lower part of the square and then the L shape which is similar with the previous shape and the triangle inside. So the correct answer is choice C. Hopefully you understand what to look for in the similar questions in the test. Let me share with you a tricky question which tests your pattern recognition, reasoning, as well as analytical skills. Which of the following squares comes next in the sequence? You are presented with the sequence of six squares and square number six is missing and you need to pick it up out of four different choices. Choice A, B, C, and D. As always, my recommendation is look for patterns. You can pause this video for 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can come up with the solution. Did you figure out the answer? Let's continue to see how we can solve this challenge and get to the correct solution together. As always, my recommendation for you is look for patterns. And there are two key patterns present in these questions. One pattern is in the squares 1, 3, and 5. What we see here, we see an arrow which rotates, and this particular arrow rotates clockwise, specifically the core of it arrow. So the first one is in the upper left corner, then in square number 3, it moves into the upper right corner, and then in square number 5, it moves to the bottom right corner. Then we have completely different pattern of squares 2, 4, and 6, which was missing. And this particular pattern is double-sided arrow rotates 90 degrees, which you can see here presented here. It's completely horizontal. Here it's completely vertical. So in square number six, it will be horizontal again. And then another thing that happens here, the corner of the square rotates counterclockwise. And it goes from the bottom left corner to bottom right corner. So the next position for that corner would be upper right corner. So the correct answer here is choice C. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Let's look at the very interesting question you might frequently see on the test. Which of the following squares comes next in the sequence? You're presented with four squares. Each square contains a circle inside and circle has four quarters. In two of the quarters are different objects. You see triangle and you see another circle much smaller circle. You have triangles and circles as well as quarter sections located in the different positions and you need to determine which object comes next in the sequence. You're presented with four different choices A, B, C and D. But first you need to understand the pattern. Do you see the pattern? Please give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can come up with the solution. Did you figure out the answer? Let's continue to see how we can get to the correct solution and solve this challenge together. As usually, my recommendation is always look for patterns. I know sometimes it's hard to see those patterns, but you still should continue and keep looking. In this particular case, we're dealing with the pattern of hourly increments, and we determine the hour based on where the triangle is pointing. 
So if you look at the first square, triangle is pointing to 6 o'clock. Then the next square, triangle is pointing at 11 o'clock. And 11 o'clock is 5 hour increment from 6 o'clock position. Now, next square, triangle is pointing at noon or midnight, whatever pattern you follow, or 12 o'clock. So we're dealing with one hour increment, which means that in the next shape, we will go back to five hour increment, which will bring us to five o'clock position. So the correct answer is choice D. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Thanks for watching. Please check out our free and premium resources on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net. Also, please make sure to check out available downloads specific to this video in the description section. Also, please consider following online training for everyone. We have a great community of dedicated followers here in this channel to help you learn technology, pass the interview and assessment test. Also, please share this video with others who you think might benefit from the content. Leave questions, comments or suggestions in the description section of this video. And all the best on your interview and assessment test. Thanks for watching.